Well, that new head coach is former Gonzaga assistant Tommy Lloyd. It's in one of the worst kept secrets in all the sports. The moment Sean Miller was fired as the men's basketball coach at the U of A, Rumerville had it that his replacement had already been decided. We're talking about Gonzaga assistant coach Tommy Lloyd. The timing was definitely there. It seemed officials could have been waiting for Gonzaga to end his tournament run. Who knows? And hey, also nobody wanted to steal the thunder of Coach Dia Barnes and U of A women's basketball team making it to the national championship game. So after the big celebration at Arizona Stadium for the women's Wildcats, boom, a couple of days later, Sean Miller was fired. And now just over a week later, here we go. Tommy Lloyd. Tommy Lloyd has been a proven winner at Gonzaga and has been labeled as a major part of Gonzaga's success over the last two decades as a young coaching prodigy under a legendary coach, Mark Few. And now Lloyd will be introduced in an upcoming press conference at the U of A. But for now, he issued a statement thanking U of A president, Dr. Robert C. Robbins and athletic director, Dave Hickey, while also saying, quote, while there are certainly potential obstacles ahead for our program, I embrace the challenge as we will build on the foundation in place to compete for Pac-12 and national championships. I know how much Arizona basketball means to the institution, its fans, its community, and the state, and I cannot wait to get started. That work begins now. My family and I are excited to settle in Tucson and begin a new chapter. Oh yeah, it's a new era and perhaps a fresh start if the NCAA goes lightly on the Wildcats after the notice of allegations were made public during the Sean Miller tenure. Meanwhile, Lloyd has been flirting with head coaching opportunities for many years as the number two to the now legendary Gonzaga head coach Mark Few. During his time at Gonzaga, Lloyd has helped recruit and develop 19 All-Americans and 15 Conference Players of the Year. He also has played a major part in Gonzaga's five straight 30-win seasons and a pair of appearances in the national championship game. For the full statement from Coach Lloyd and Arizona's administrators, we have much more on KVOA.com. And don't forget, later in sports, I'll break down more of Lloyd's accomplishments and some of the high points of his resume as he gets set to be the next men's head basketball coach at the U of A. Also, we will hear directly from Lloyd on camera addressing the fans in Arizona while he's also wearing Wildcat gear. We'll see you a bit later in sports. We will see you then. Thank you so much, Paul. So the Tommy Lloyd era is about to begin here. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink has reaction from the Wildcat faithful from campus tonight. The quick search for Arizona's next head basketball coach is over Wednesday night. U of A athletic director Dave Hickey tweeted a photo of him along with Coach Lloyd and University President Robert Robbins saying, we've got our guy, head coach Tommy Lloyd, headed back to Tucson. Can't wait for Wildcat Nation to meet this guy. Rich Herrera hosts the Drive Time Wildcats radio on 1290 AM. Herrera says although this will be Lloyd's first head coaching job, he has the pedigree to lead this storied program. So this is the first opportunity that Tommy Lloyd has. Wow, what an opportunity, what a program, with all the support that you're going to have here in Tucson, this is a dream job for anyone in college basketball. U of A junior Kobe Thiel is a saxophone player in the university band. He says he was frantically refreshing his phone Wednesday afternoon after hearing rumblings of a possible decision. Kobe says he's psyched. I think it's a good hire. I think it was the right hire. I think it was the best possible candidate. I think it checks all the boxes, and I'm excited to see what he can do. Lute Olson wasn't an alumni. He came from an outside program. Sometimes reaching out of the family works. There's three great basketball programs in the West Coast, Gonzaga, Arizona, and UCLA. A lot of folks have tried to get Tommy Lloyd to leave Gonzaga in the past, and he's turned down those jobs. The only one that's been able to pry him away was the siren song of coaching in McHale Center. A new beginning with hopes of rekindling those tournament runs and feelings of old. We've got you covered at the U of A. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. A zoning change.